Welcome back, fabulous first graders. Welcome to week eight, day four. Our I can statement for today is I can tell time to the hour and half hour using digital and analog clocks. The materials you're gonna to need today for the lesson, you need a pencil and paper, or you can ask an adult to print out the exit ticket for you. If you don't do that, that's fine. You can show your work on paper. Let's look at this clock together. What type of clock is it called? You're right, an analog clock. And how many minutes are in one hour? 60 minutes. So if we were picking the time, say seven o'clock, how would we write that? Right, we would write seven is the number of hours, which is to the left of the colon. O'clock is zero, zero. And if you were going to draw that on the clock, the minute hand is the long hand and it would be pointing straight up. Where would the hour hand go? You're right, it points to the seven. So what I usually do is I take my hand and I try to draw a straight line in between the seven and then the dot, which is the middle of the clock. So I usually put a dot right here to help me remember. So I'm going to draw a straight line back and then that's where my arrow would go to draw seven o'clock, draw the hands on the clock face to show seven o'clock. Now let's say that I wanted to write 7.30 or half past seven o'clock. I would write digitally, I would write my seven because that's how many hours. I would write my colon and 30 because 30 minutes have passed. That means my minute hand, which normally if it goes all the way around the clock, 60 minutes have passed. If it's gone halfway around the clock, 30 minutes have passed. So my minute hand is going to go straight down because it's half past seven. Now I have to decide where I need to draw my hour hand. Now it's not gonna be pointing to seven because remember it's half past seven. So I look at my clock and I find the halfway point. And then I'm gonna do what I did last time. I usually drag my finger halfway and then I put a little dot to help me remember that's about halfway. And then I'm gonna draw my line back to the center and make an arrow on the end. So my hour hand, which is the short hand, is halfway between the seven and the eight. It's past the seven, half past the seven. And then my minute hand is pointing straight down because half of that hour has gone by. So that's how you would write 7.30 digitally and then draw the hands on the analog clock. What do you notice about these clocks? You're right, they're all analog clocks because they have a minute hand and an hour hand. Oh, some people have noticed that some of the clocks have numbers on them. This clock has numbers one to 12 all the way around, which makes it easier to read this clock. But this clock only has four numbers on it. It has the 12, the six, the three, and the nine. The same goes for this clock. Now, this clock has no numbers on it at all. It just has the tick marks of the lines to keep track. Let's see how many there are on this clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it does have a line where each number would go. This clock has no numbers at all. So you would have to recognize where the numbers go to be able to read this clock. This final clock actually has a special type of number all the way around. They're called Roman numerals. They are the numbers one, two, three, written in Roman numeral form. Now you don't need to know all of this information. This is way more than you need to know. But what you do need to know is the clock is divided the same way no matter how the numbers or 
fractions of the circle are labeled, whether they're labeled with these lines for tick marks, whether they're labeled with numbers, whether they have no label at all, it's all going to be the same time. So we're gonna be looking at this a little more. Let's practice together. Number one, circle the clock that shows 1.30. Well, I look at this first analog clock and I look at the hour hand points to the one, the minutes are straight up, which means zero, zero. So this is one o'clock. It's not that one. Let's look at B. This analog clock has the time, the hour hand points halfway in between the one and the two. The minute hand goes straight down, so it's halfway around the clock, which means 30 minutes have passed. So it's half past one or 1.30. So I know that's right. And let me check this clock. Well, I know this one is not it because it's actually half past 12 or 12.30. 12 so I'm going to also practice on this line writing the digital time. So 1.30. Let's look at number two. Circle the clock that shows 7 o'clock. Well, I'm looking at the first analog clock and it the hour hand points to the seven, the minute hand is straight up. So that is seven o'clock. Good, now let's just double check the other two. What time does this clock say? You're right, it's eight o'clock because the hour hand points to the eight, the minute hand is straight up. What time does this clock say? Yes, it's six o'clock because the hour hand points to the six, the minute hand is straight up. So I'm gonna practice writing the digital time, seven, and then I make my colon, o'clock. Good job. Number three, circle the clock that shows 10.30. Well, I'm gonna look at the first analog clock. The hour hand is halfway past the 11, and the minute hand is down, pointing to where the 30 would be. So this is 11.30. So it's not that one. This clock, the hour hand points to the 11. The minute hand is straight up. So this is 11 o'clock. So it's not that one. The third analog clock has the hour hand halfway past the 10. And the minute hand is straight down. So this is 10. 30 or half past 10. So I'm going to circle this clock and I'm going to practice writing my hours. The hour hand points to the 10. The minutes, 30 minutes have gone by for 10 30. Number five, draw the minute and hour hands on the clocks. So the first one says one o'clock. So I'm gonna make my hour hand go straight up and the minute hand points to the one. So I usually put a little dot, I follow along, put in my little dot and I make sure my arrow goes straight to the one. The next one says what time? 1.30. Well, I know 30 minutes have passed, which means the minute hand is halfway around the clock since a whole hour is 60 minutes. So 30 minutes is half. And when I write 130, remember my hour hand does not point to the one, it's halfway past the one. So I usually take my finger and I find the halfway point, halfway in between the one and the two, and I start to draw a line and then I put a little dot right there and that's where I know my arrow is going to start right here halfway in between the one and the two. Good. My next clock, what time does it say? Two o'clock, great. So I know my minute hand, the long hand goes straight up. My hour hand is pointing, the short hand is pointing to the two. My next clock, 6.30. Well, I know if 30 minutes have passed, my minute hand points down because we are halfway through the hour. But I also know I'm not pointing directly at the six because I'm half past the six. 
So I go halfway in between the six and the seven. So here's my halfway point. And then I start to draw my line, my imaginary line. I put a little dot to help me remember this is about halfway in between the six and the seven. And I make my arrow for 630. Let's look at this ne next one together. So 730, I know my minute hand is pointing straight down because of the 30 minutes have gone past. So now, I don't point at the seven because I'm half past the seven. So I find my line. Here's the seven. I'm halfway in between the seven and the eight. I'm going to draw my little dot. And then I'm going to draw the rest of my arrow. So my hour hand should be halfway in between the seven and the eight. It's half past the seven. My last clock. Let's look at 830. So I know 30 means. 30 minutes have passed, so I'm halfway. And as far as eight, the hour hand is concerned. Here's the eight. I'm halfway in between the eight and the nine, halfway past. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my arrow halfway in between the eight and the nine. Let's show what you know. Let's see how you do on this exit ticket. I'm going to read you the directions and then I want you to press pause and work out the problems. When you're ready to check, press play. Number one, circle the clock or clocks that show 3.30. So you'll circle which one of these analog clocks say 3.30 to match the digital time. Number two, write the time or draw the hands on the clock. So A, you've been given the digital time, you have to draw the hands, the hour and minute hand on the analog clock. B, you've been given the analog clock, you need to write the digital time. C, you've been written the time, and then you need to actually draw the time, draw the hands on the clock. So press play when you're ready to check. All right, let's look at this first one together. Circle the clock or clocks that shows 3.30. Well, this clock has the hour pointing to the three. The minute hand points straight up. So this time says three o'clock. So it's not A. Let's look at B. The hour hand is halfway past the two. The minute hand is straight down. So this analog clock says 2.30. Let's check C. The hour hand is halfway past the three. The minute hand is straight down. So we know this is 330. So I'm going to circle 330, the last clock. Number two, write the time or draw the hands on the clocks. So you, here you've been given the digital time 430. Now I need to figure out where to put the hands on the clock. So the hour hand, I'm going to start with that. I know that it doesn't point directly at the four because it's halfway past the four since it's 430. So I'm going to go halfway in between the four and the five. I'm going to make a little dot. I'm going to draw my hour hand, which is my short hand. My minute hand should have pointed straight down toward the six. So that's halfway past four or 4.30. B, what time does this clock read? Yes, you would read it 12 o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to the 12. So I should have written my 12 on the left-hand side of my colon. The minute hand is pointing straight up, so I should have zero, zero. So 12 o'clock digitally matches my 12 o'clock on the analog clock. Let's check C. You were given the time nine o'clock. How did you draw it? Well, I had my hour hand pointing to the nine and my minute hand straight up. To the 12. 
So my analog clock now says nine o'clock. Let's review our I can statement for today. I can tell time to the hour and half hour using digital and analog clocks. You did a great job with that today. Please join us tomorrow. We are going to be wrapping up our week with one more lesson on telling time to the hour and the half hour. And it's going to be a fun game that we're gonna get to play. A huge thank you goes out to Richmond City Public Schools for Richmond Math and Great Minds and Eureka Math. See you tomorrow.